Hello everybody and welcome to Daytona International for the first race of the brand new World Stock Car Series. This series will be one of the biggest series in the world because it takes some of the best drivers in the world and puts them in equal equipment or somewhat equal equipment. So Daytona, we have teams of two here, 13 teams of two to make 26 cars on the grid. They will be going for 40 laps around Daytona International Speedway. What we know about this track is we will have a lot of positive impact from the NASCAR drivers. So expect the NASCAR drivers to be toward the front on this race. Drivers like AJ Allmendinger, Jimmy Johnson, Kevin Harvick, and oh wow, Sergio Perez, or Sergio Perez, the Formula One driver is in the top ten, five, top five as well. Um, however, everybody else in the top five are all, actually no, Alex Rossi is also up there. So the top three are all NASCAR drivers. However, you then have a couple of non-NASCAR drivers in the top 10 as well. As they will roll off, we will then take a look at the starting grid throughout the field. And the field rolls off here at Daytona International. Let's take a look at your starting grid. On pole, we have A.J. Allmendinger, the NASCAR driver who also has done time in Champ Car and in some um, uh, ALMS races, or now known as the um, WeatherTech uh, IMSA series. We'll be starting on pole on his outside. You have Jimmy Johnson in a 17 Ford car. That's going to be interesting to get used to there. The NASCAR seven-time champion will be one to watch. And on the third row, on the second row of the grid, you've got Kevin Harvick and Sergio Perez. On the third row of the grid, you've got Alex Rossi and Robert Wickets, two IndyCar drivers on the same row. That's going to be fun to watch. Uh, Joseph Newgarden and Sophia Floresh will be on row four there in the 88 and 15 car. Scott McLaughlin and that will be uh, Scott Dixon in the 26 will be on the fifth row of the grid. Fernando Alonso and Sebastian Vettel, two former or two F1 drivers there. Raikkonen and Sato. Followed back by, after Raikkonen and Sato, we have Ryan Blaney. I'm sorry, that's Raikkonen and, um, I'm sorry, I missed somebody. That is Raikkonen and Castro Neves, and then it is Sato and Blaney. Ryan Blaney on one row. Jamie Wincup and Rico Abreu. And then on the next row, you have Juan Pablo Montoya, and you have the 33 car of Ross Chastain. Ricardo and Hunter Ray, followed by Verstappen and Hamilton and Bush and Fincham. So here we go. Not a great start there by Bush, uh, by Bush and Hamilton. We expected that team to be really good on this season. As the green is out, here we go. AJ Allmendinger leads the field down to the green flag. Jimmy Johnson, will he slot in right behind Allmendinger? I do not know. Let's see what happens here in the first 40 laps or in this 40 lap race here at Daytona. Remember, races in this are very small. It's kind of like an IROC series where the um, 26 best drivers in the world are in similar cars, kind of prepared differently. However, um, we'll get into some of those team stuff here in a bit here. Who drives what car here in a little bit? As it looks like down the back stretch here, Kevin Harvick in the 20 car. Weird to see him in a JG in a former JGR car. Now is on the back stretch. Here they go down into turn number three and four. Almendinger, I think, is going to lead the first lap of this race here in a fantastic showing here by that driver there. The multi, um, he's been in a lot of stuff. So AJ Almendinger leads the first lap here at Daytona. So the FBR car of Kevin Harvick is taking over second position here. Now you've kind of got the six car back there of Robert Wickens going up through the field. Um, Robert Wickens is in for the Zodiac Auto Racing team, doing a great job there, uh, kind of slotting up the inside here, now trying to take over second position over Kevin Harvick there. Sergio Perez in the 10 car also is looking back quite a ways there, driving for XO Team Magma, Magnum, I'm sorry. Uh, his teammate Rico Abreu is uh, kind of one of the slower drivers in the field here. Also kind of surprised that the Toyotas of Lewis Hamilton and Kurt Kyle Busch haven't been doing much either. Uh, we expected them to be huge championship contenders, but it looks like their cars are kind of off the pace this race. 
Uh, however, those cars are geared more for road course racing, not necessarily super speedway racing. Here as they go down the back straightaway once again here. As Kevin Harvick now is looking to maybe try and close in on Almendinger. However, Almendinger has a very quick car. As now we've got Sergio Perez going for second position. Scott Dixon now to the inside of Robert Wickens. Uh, Wickens has fallen quite a ways down the order in the last couple of laps here. Wickens has been caught kind of on the outside and kind of been out of the draft. There comes Fernando Alonso up the inside of him. And now you've got Wickens and Dixon battling along back there with Ryan Blaney in the 97 car looking very strong as well. <coughs> Excuse me. As the field kind of goes back onto the front stretch, they're spreading out quite a bit here. So these cars are racing quite um, intensively here. As Kimi Raikkonen now is trying to help out Kevin Harvick catch up to A.J. Allmendinger, who has led the first uh, nine laps of this race. A.J. Allmendinger has led every lap of this race, and they are kind of breaking away at the front of the field. Something we don't normally see here at Daytona. For a brief moment, it's still three wide between Hunter Ray, Montoya, and Dixon. All three drivers who have spent time in the IndyCar Series, actually the majority of their careers in the IndyCar Series, although Montoya has gone around in NASCAR and Formula One in the four car in the middle line there, as it looks like Doug Dixon had to back out there. And uh, Dixon's going to have to slot into line there as Hunter Ray. Oh, there might be something wrong with the four of Montoya there. Oh, uh, maybe not. I just think he flipped the throttle a little bit there, and now he is losing. Oh, there might be something wrong with Montoya. Montoya is holding up the pack pretty big here, and I am not sure why that's the case. Is there a caution? No, there is not. Oh, Fincham and Kyle Busch have lost the pack. Kyle Busch is not having a good run here. I'm thinking there might be something wrong with that car, because Hamilton, his teammate, has at least been able to keep up with the pack. However, um, that team has been struggling today. Um, like I said, though, that team isn't really set up for the oval racing. That team is set up for road course racing, so that'll be interesting to watch when we get to some of the road courses, because the majority of this championship is actually road courses, as Almendinger continues to lead this race. However, it wouldn't be long until Sergio Perez and Kevin Harvick would shuffle Almendinger out of the lead. Uh, Harvick, I don't even think, would lead. Oh, no, Harvick led a lap, but now Perez is going for the lead of this race here, as it does prove that at the halfway mark, somebody else can lead the race as Kevin Harvick now has taken over the lead of this race here as, ooh, Perez even gets second there as Raikkonen's coming on the outside there in the 12 car. So Kimi Raikkonen is on the move up to the second position. Here comes Wickens way on the outside there. Oh, it looks like Raikkonen had to let off the throttle there. And Wickens now is flying around the outside to try and take the lead with help from Fernando Alonso. That's been the big thing, is that if you're on the inside, sometimes you have to blip the throttle if you're not careful there. And now you've got Alonso now trying the outside of Wickens for the early lead, and Alonso is now going to lead this race. So it's not the Toyotas that are the problem, it's just the fact that Kyle Busch and Lewis Hamilton just don't seem to have a car that really works very well, as Alonso is going to lead the lap. And now, ooh, it looks like now McLaughlin, Scott McLaughlin, of Australia, the Aussie V8 Supercars driver is going to slot in a second with Kevin Harvick in third. Oh boy, as the tires are falling off, you're seeing the cars are having a very hard time holding that inside line. And that is really helping out Almendinger there as some of the leaders up front now have broken away from some of the back markers. There's Harvick's now trying underneath Fernando Alonso, but the inside now is not good if you are a um, faster car. As, oh, Harvick has to slide up a little bit wider, but makes it work. So Kevin Harvick now takes over the lead of the race here over Fernando Alonso. Track doesn't have a lot of grip up there today. As Harvick will lead the race for the Fuel Brothers Racing Team behind Red Bull Racing's Fernando Alonso and the Scott McLaughlin car. McLaughlin car. Who? Scott McLaughlin is a driver that we're going to watch all season because he is used to road course racing and is used to some of the um, similar cars like this, the Aussie V8 supercars. The Fitzwater Team Australia car is doing a great job. His teammate Daniel Ricardo is running way in the back of the field right now. Ricardo's had a hard time adjusting to this uh, road course race, or this oval racing uh, that we are seeing today here in Daytona. As now McLaughlin takes over the lead of the race, gets by Kevin Harvick, and now Jimmy Johnson's now slotted into third position behind um, Kevin Harvick here. Here comes Alonso again. Oh, Blaney had to back off the throttle there because he was uh, nearly running into the back of Alonso there, and these bumpers do not line up as Raikkonen now slots in behind Alonso, but Raikkonen has to back out of the throttle. <coughs> 
Alonso now is on a move with Wickens. As the 20 and the 17 had a very slow run to the corner to back out of the throttle. Alonso now takes over second position with Wickens in third. As McLaughlin has a huge lead right now. However, McLaughlin didn't do very well through that corner. And Alonso's car is gripped up very well through the inside. Alonso has a very good car today. As now it looks like Wickens now goes to the high line and takes over the lead of the race with Blaney in second. So Robert Wickens, Blaney in second, and here comes the 18 of Vettel in the third. So we have three different drivers from three different series in the top three. And it looks like Vettel's looking very intently on Blaney. As Ryan Blaney is going to get, oh, but Blaney throws a block on Vettel. Oh boy, this kind of racing is very intense here. As um, we are now starting to see some very intense racing here. Oh, three wide earning this corner might not end well if um, if you're honest with you there. But it looks like it might end well there. As, ooh, Almendinger getting really close to the back of McLaughlin there. Some drivers had to slam on the get off the throttle there. And now Sergio Perez and Alex Rossi have caught this group. And Kevin Harvick now is closing in as well. As Alonso and Johnson have fallen out of the pack a little bit here as uh, I think the drivers ought to start thinking about maybe coming in for tires, maybe, that they can hold the inside line a little better. Although they shouldn't have to pit in this race, we're thinking, because Daytona doesn't really burn out tires that bad, and the fuel just could be a big factor here. And the outside, I think you can hold it around the outside flat out if you're not um, too uh, aggressive there. You could hold it, I think, on a 40-lap run way on the outside there, as here comes what will Vettel do on Blaney is my big question here, along with Sergio Perez back there as well. Ooh, they all slow down, and here comes the great Kevin Harvick on the outside, getting by Perez and might try and get his teammate of uh, Vettel here. Doesn't look like that's going to happen, though, as Vettel uh, is struggling a bit there, as the pack has very much spread out there. There's Rico Abreu, as you can see, along with Lewis Hamilton, behind leading the pack further back there. That's a battle for 12th, really, as uh, Hamilton takes it over. As here comes, on the outside, you've got Jamie Wincup back here in the 25 car. Great to see Wincup in this field there. And a little further back, you got Sophia Floresh. Or, I think I'm pronouncing that right. I don't even know what uh, Sophia Floresh is from. Uh, great to see Floresh in the series, a female driver in the series. Oh, Hamilton had to back out of the throttle there as well. As Almendinger, the pole sitter, is struggling there to keep his grip up. Oh, Harvick had a really bad run through that corner there. Got chopped off there by the leader, Wickens. Or, yeah, Wickens there, and now is falling through the field very quickly. Here, as there's Kimi Raikkonen. Now trying to get the outside to work here, and it will take over second position. Now, if he's smart here, Raikkonen should be able to get near uh, Wickens here. However, Wickens is doing a great job holding all the lines here. Oh, Vettel had to slow out of the throttle there because his teammate uh, Harvick cut him off there. And that is going to be a very bad situation for a lot of these pack racers as, oh, looks like Perez had to back out of the throttle along with Johnson and Almendinger. As here they go down the back stretch now. Alonso and Raikkonen now are fighting with Wickens for the lead of this race. However, here comes Vettel way on the outside now of his teammate Harvick, and is he going to try and make a run on Wickens here? It looks like it, and it looks like Vettel might take over the lead of this race, along with help from Fernando Alonso. So, new leader Sebastian Vettel with Alonso in second position. And Alonso now is looking to the outside of Vettel here. This could be a big move here. Yes, Alonso's now going for the lead with help from Ryan Blaney. So here we go, we're seeing all different types of drivers from many different series all battling with each other here. Oh, we look out at some cars coming in for tires. So here we go, Blaney's in, along with the two FBR cars of Vettel and Harvick. A couple more coming in, Hunter Ray and Hamilton are coming in. As Fernando Alonso continues to lead this race, the tires are falling off quite massively, so these pit stops are going to be big. Uh, factors in this race as here comes Alex Rossi on the inside of the nine car of McLaughlin. There's only a handful of laps to go. So these cars are coming in for a quick dash of fuel and a splash and dash. And here they go off the pits. It looks like Blaney got a great pit stop there along with, um, it didn't look like the two FBR cars of Hamilton and Vettel got a great uh, pit stop there. Hunter Ray and Hamilton certainly didn't. They actually got passed. Well, that just shows how 
bad Fincham held up Bush there as um uh, Fincham really held up Bush there and that really held us uh, mess them up there as here comes Bert basically the entire lead group coming in I don't believe it all came in because we still got um Rossi and Perez in front of this field here but we're gonna see how the pit stop coming in early is gonna help you I think it's gonna help out a lot because now they're having to blip off the throttle in all lines on the track so this is going to be huge but these drivers need less fuel than everybody else so here comes Almendinger out of the pits with all contact between Wickens and Almendinger and that's the leader Wickens and his race is effectively done Robert Wickens is because that's a lot of damage to the front of Robert Wickens' six car. And he goes back on track, very annoyed, right there. At the front of the field, Fernando Alonso leads. And here comes Kyle Busch, actually, who still hasn't pitted yet. So Busch is actually going to be the leader of the race, I think, in the long run here. However, he, remember, Busch still needs to pit, keep in mind. And right now, it's going to be Alonso and Blaney fighting for the lead with Kevin Harvick. Almendinger, who I believe has some rear end damage. Yes, he does have some heavy rear end damage. And now here comes Bush coming into the pits here. More cars coming off the pit road. That's Rossi's leading Perez and Johnson off pit road. This is going to be the battle for the win here. It depends how quickly Perez and Rossi get up to speed over Fernando Alonso, Harvick, and Blaney. There it goes. Harvick on the outside of Rossi. As, oh, whoa, Alonso had to back off for Johnson there. That was not going to be a good result there. As Harvick, I believe, is going to take over the lead of this race. There he goes. Kevin Harvick blasts by Alex Rossi. And Rossi and Alonso. Alonso gets by Rossi as well. So it's Blaney. So it looks like it's going to be Blaney. Harvick. Oh, we got a car broken down. That's Ross Chastain in the 33 car. So that's not going to be good for poor Ross Chastain here. As now here comes... Oh, we got a big race here between Harvick, Alonso, Blaney, Rossi, and we have uh, Sergio Perez just trying to hang on there. And we got some more cars coming off of pit road. The Kimi Raikkonen now was the only car left in the lead group. However, uh, he's going to get passed up quite quickly here as Harvick blasts by on the outside of uh, Ross. Or so, ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. We got another car maybe breaking down. That's also the 88 of Joseph Newgarden. Yeah, the 88 of Newgarden blows up right in front of Juan Pablo Montoya. And, well, that's poor Joe News Day done right there. The IndyCar champion now is falling out of the World Stock Car Series debut race here at Daytona. And now here comes Ryan Blaney on the outside of Kevin Harvick. Harvick did not judge that corner right, and he had to back off there. Blaney did, and now Blaney leads over Harvick. Two NASCAR drivers do kick it out for the World Stock Car Series win here at Daytona. But Alex Rossi is closing in, and we've got some pack racing a little further back. Uh, Rossi, or I'm sorry, Perez and uh, Almendinger are trying to get a run going here. However, I don't know if there's just a simply enough time to try and catch these drivers. As so it's basically Blaney, Harvick, and Rossi duking it out for the win here as Perez and Almendinger now are trying to get into a tandem to get going. However, slipstreaming is vitally important here. And they're all slowing down in the corners here. Now, if these drivers do a good job, here comes Alonso and all. Here comes Alonso and Raikkonen trying to get up through the field. However, Perez held them up a little bit here. And now... You do have Fernando Alonso, who has a lot of speed with Raikkonen. Coming down the backstretch, they could make a run for it, but they've got to really work out well here. And you also have to worry about Kyle Busch and Chad Fincham. Uh, Kyle Busch is down a cylinder, we're hearing, ever since the start of the race. He didn't qualify very well, but... Um, we're going to see how that turns out for them. There's only two laps to go this time. Ryan Blaney and Kevin Harvick are duking it, are duking it out for the win here. We expected the NASCAR drivers to do very well here at Daytona. And we're kind of seeing that today. However, these cars are a little bit lighter weight. Ooh, that's going to be a slow run here. Here comes Rossi now flying around. But he backs off. They all are backing off here. I believe they didn't even take tires, some of these cars. They just were coming in for fuel because tires take some more time. Rossi goes to the outside of Harvick there, and so it's going to be Blaney, Rossi, and Harvick, unless if something really weird happens with Fernando Alonso and Raikkonen closing in. Remember, slipstreaming is very important around this track here, as here comes Harvick back to the outside of Rossi, 
coming to the white flag here at the World Stock Car Series. And now Harvick's going for the lead. So Kevin Harvick will take the white flag here at Daytona. And oh, Dave, or I'm sorry, Ryan Blaney really slows up there. And now Fernando Alonso is going to take over third. So Ryan Blaney's effectively done right now. Here comes Fernando Alonso on the outside of Rossi. He's got to run here on Harvick. He's got about 20 miles an hour on Harvick here. And Fernando Alonso on the last lap makes an amazing charge. Right there. So these lightweight cars, Fernando Alonso is used to a lightweight F1 car, but he's going to have to be stuck on the inside. What's that going to do for him? Not a whole lot. Fernando Alonso comes off the final corner. And in a NASCAR car, an F1 driver is going to win it. Fernando Alonso comes off the final corner, and he will win the World Stock Car Series season opener here at Daytona. And that will open up the championship bank for him because he's expected to be a real strong contender on the road courses. And if he just won Daytona, that's going to be huge for him. Second position is going to go to Kevin Harvick, third to Ryan Blaney, fourth goes to Sergio Perez, and fifth goes to Jimmy Johnson. Sixth goes to Rossi, seventh to Hart Raikkonen, and eighth to Almendinger. Ninth to Vettel, tenth to Castroneves, eleventh to Floresh, twelfth to Dixon, thirteenth to McLaughlin, or I'm sorry, thirteenth to Dixon, twelfth to McLaughlin, fourteenth to Wing Cup, fifteenth to Hamilton, sixteenth to Ricardo, seventeenth to Verstappen, eighteenth to Sato, nineteenth to Montoya, twentieth to Abreu, twenty for, excuse me, to Hunter Ray. 22nd to Fincham, and 23rd will go to Kyle Busch in the double zero car, who was down a cylinder. And then 24th goes to Joseph Newgarden, who fell out of the race on lap 35. So a caution-free race here at Daytona. A uh, very clean race by everybody, with the exception of the little contact there that uh, helped uh, ruin Almendinger's day and also ruined the day of Robert Wickens. Oh, I'm sorry, there was a couple, I believe Wickens also fell out. Yes, he did. Wickens also fell out along with Joseph Newgarden. So, those were the two drivers, and actually there was another car that fell out as well. I believe that might be the, um, car of Ross Chastain. Yes, Ross Chastain fell out as well. Here's your finishing order here with Fernando Alonso winning today. Um, excuse me, I bumped my microphone there. So, a very, very clean race here at Daytona. Uh, very interesting to see the uh, way that the pack was racing around here. This uh, car does require a bit of drivability uh, to get through the corners here, because it is so light, but the tires aren't the best. So, um, with Fernando Alonso, Kevin Harvick, Ryan Blaney, Sergio Perez, Jimmy Johnson, Alex Rossi, Kimi Raikkonen, AJ Allmendinger, Sebastian Vettel, Elio Castroneves, Sofia Floresh, Scott McLaughlin, Scott Dixon, Jamie Wingcup, Lewis Hamilton, Daniel Ricciardo, Max Verstappen, Takuma Sato, Juan Pablo Montoya, Rico Abreu, Ryan Hunter Ray, Chad Fincham, Kyle Busch, Joseph Newgarden, Robert Wickens, and Ross Chastain rounding out your top 26, or actually all 26 cars on the grid. So with that being said, Fernando Alonso is the championship leader with Kevin Harvick, Ryan Blaney, Sergio Perez, Jimmy Johnson, AJ Allmendinger, Alex Rossi, Kimi Raikkonen, Raikkonen, uh, Sebastian Vettel, Elio Castrevis, Sofia Floresh, uh, Scott McLaughlin, um, Scott Dixon, Jamie Winkup, Lewis Hamilton, Daniel Ricciardo, Max Verstappen, Takuma Sato, Juan Pablo Montoya, Rico Abreu, Ryan Hunter Ray, Chad Fincham, Kyle Busch, Joseph Newgarden, Robert Wickens, and Ross Chastain following Fernando Alonso. And uh, coming up, we will also be taking a look at the points championships for the teams, which is a lot more interesting because these teams are fighting tooth and nail. So with that, Fuel Brothers Racing takes the lead in the Constructors Championship with Red Bull in second. Uh, 36 point Fuel Brothers Racing has 43. Aerodynamics is tied with Red Bull for 36 with XOT Magnum having with 30 points, CFM and Ozkin are tied at 29, Lake Effect and Fitzwater Team Australia have 26, uh, Shelly United has 25, and is tied with Team Chevy, Fallout Racing has 16, Zodiac had a very bad day, and the Gatlin Downey team with their lineup of underdogs 
only has six points. I'm not exactly sure if the Ross Chastain, uh, the Ross Chastain Chad Fincham lineup is going to pay off for them. But uh, we'll see if there's any driver changes going forward to Road Atlanta. Uh, at any time, teams can comment in the comment section if they want a driver change. Uh, but with that being said, we still have a long championship ahead of us. 11 more races. The next race is Road Atlanta, home of the Petit Le Mans. As you can see, these tracks on the schedule are all very famous racetracks across the, across the world. And we will see... Um, uh, as you know, Daytona is home of the Daytona 500. Well, we're going to Road Atlanta next week, home of the Petit Le Mans, which should be a very interesting uh, facility for us to go to, very different than Daytona. Uh, I wonder if that race will be chaotic or not. I'm not sure. Anyway, we will see you for the next race at Road Atlanta.